Crews are still searching for six construction workers after a cargo ship crashed into a bridge in Baltimore, causing it to collapse into the river. But as officials begin to piece together what happened, port officials in Florida are saying not having access to the port in Baltimore could bring more ships to the Sunshine State. News 6's Laverne McGee is in the newsroom with more on that. And Laverne, you spoke with port officials about this. Absolutely, and you probably don't realize what a critical role that Florida seaports play in our daily lives. From getting food or cars to traveling on cruise ships, the Florida system of seaports drives our economy, and that means preparing for a disaster is a crucial part of their plan. Yo! What? Oh my gosh! We're, we're ready for any instances that, uh, you know, a carrier or a service provider that, that is not able to access uh, facilities in Baltimore might need something in Florida. The actual port director for uh, Port of Baltimore is a, a former uh, colleague. Uh, he was formerly at Port Everglades. Jonathan Daniels is, is quite the uh, quite the gentleman, and we've all reached out to him. President and CEO of Florida Ports Council Michael Rubin says it's unlikely, but if asked, they'll assist the Port of Baltimore after the catastrophic accident. It's one of the largest and oldest ports in the nation, generating more than three billion dollars of annual business. It's the busiest port for cars, trucks, and sugar. It is going to lead to a lot of complications for our supply chain. Florida has 16 public seaports, including Port Canaveral in Brevard County. In Florida, we are a system of seaports, and we, we try to work together. So if, if one port in Florida is closed uh, due to uh, heavy weather issues, uh, you know, we, we, we look at movement of cargo, especially fuel, uh, around the state, um, you know, which is one of the reasons why Canaveral in particular uh, you know, has has a fuel terminal there now. Port Canaveral is the gateway to Central Florida. According to their website, 80 percent of the port's revenue is generated from the cruise business. Weather is the biggest threat. Unfortunately, have learned our lessons from a number of, of hurricanes, and we, we prepare and we've invested not only in capacity building for supply chain issues, but also for resiliency. And the entire impact of the Baltimore bridge collapse is yet to be seen, but officials say to expect delays in shipments and higher costs. Back to you. Laverne, thank you very much.